everyone and welcome back to another episode of Beauty in the Bolt. Today we're going to be going over some super simple, super easy and very beginner Adobe Illustrator techniques specifically for laser cutting. Now, I've been laser cutting from Adobe Illustrator for years. I never really decided to become an expert in Corel Draw, which I think is the main competitor to Illustrator just because I love the power and I love the design capabilities that Illustrator has. That being said, it's kind of a tough program and there's a high learning curve. And so what I'm gonna show you is just enough so that you can make some really simple but really fun Christmas ornaments for the holidays this year. If you don't have access to a laser cutter or know where a laser cutter is, you can try checking out beautyinthebolt.com slash makerspaces and we have an interactive map where you can find a local makerspace near you. That being said, we've scraped a lot of that data from the internet, so please call the makerspace and verify that you can use it before you show up. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the little bell. I've noticed a huge drop in immediate viewership, which means that y'all forgot to click the bell and are not getting notified when we post new videos. So you should do that, especially because there's a lot of fun holiday videos in the queue. Also, it is the end of the year, therefore it is nonprofit fundraising season. And as a friendly reminder, we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, which means that all merch merchandise, merch merchandise, merch, per all merch purchases, <laughs> All merch purchases are a direct donation to our nonprofit. And also, just through the end of the year, we are selling a 2020 Princesses with Power Tools calendar featuring 12 incredible women from all over STEM and trades uh, doing their jobs in princess dresses. So be sure to check those out. They're both linked down in the description below. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna start like I always start with a brand new artboard set to the size of my wood. In this case, like usual, 24 by 12 inches. <laughs> Because my final shape is symmetrical, I'm gonna give myself a vertical reference line. And by the way, if you hold down shift as you drag a line, it'll lock it into 0, 90, 45 degrees. Switching over to that pen tool, I'm just gonna draw out the shape of my Christmas tree by clicking every time the line is gonna change directions. You may find that shift trick helpful with the horizontal lines here too. When you're done, just hit the escape key to end pen tool. Using the white pointer, click and delete the reference line. Now, the general difference between those two pointers is that white one lets you select single points or single lines, subsections of whatever you're working with, whereas the black one lets you select and manipulate entire groups. So using the black pointer, I'm going to select that half of the Christmas tree and then invert it horizontally. Then I'm just gonna select both halves of the Christmas tree with the black selection tool and go under Pathfinder and click Unite to make it all one nice shape. I decided to spice up my ornament a little bit with a little resin inlay using some Total Bed Epoxies, but you obviously don't have to. Um, to do this though, it was really simple. I just used the pen tool and did the exact same thing as before and outlined another shape in the middle. And I finished this up using techniques I'm going to discuss in the next ornament, so let's jump straight away to that. Okay, so this snowman is one of the simplest ones we're gonna do. All we're gonna do is draw it using a bunch of pre-made shapes and then merge them together. So a snowman is, of course, three circles. So I'm just gonna go into my circle tool and draw three circles. In this circle tool, I'm clicking and then setting each ellipse to the dimensions that I want, making each one half an inch bigger than the other. But obviously you can just eyeball this because this is art. Ooh, and ignore this duplicate snowman because I didn't end up using it, so don't let it confuse you. Clicking and holding on that ellipse tool, I can turn it into the rectangle tool, and then from here I'm just going to build out the rest of my little frosty hat. Oh, and pro tip, to make everything symmetrical, just select all of the objects that you want to center, go over to align, and then click that nice vertical centering button. <laughs> there, now his hat is less crooked. To build out his arms, I'm just going to use a series of small rectangles that I can angle just by uh, hovering near the edge of the rectangle and then dragging it around, kind of like you would in Microsoft Word. Now here's the super satisfying part. I'm just going to select all of my shapes, go over to the Pathfinder section, and click Unite. And boom, you have one big shape that you can laser cut. Then to make this an ornament, I just went back to the ellipse tool, made a little circle so that I can hang it on a tree or something. 
whatever people hang things on. <laughs> Okay, so this next one is one of the easiest ways to get started for beginners, but you definitely can't sell anything you make with this method because you're kind of just stealing other people's art. So I'm gonna go into Google Images and pick a reindeer that I like. I highly recommend you pick a black and white image, especially to start out. Once you've found one you like, all you have to do is copy and paste that image back into Illustrator. And then over on the bottom right, there's a button that says Image Trace. And what this does is, oh, you're going to want to click Default, by the way. And what this does is take the image that you've placed, this pixel image, and it turns it into a vector. And a vector is what can be laser cut. Then click Expand so that Illustrator will show you the paths themselves. So then if you go over to the white clicker, you can delete the rest of the square, those white sections, and then you'll be left with just this nice clean vector. I'm going to go ahead here and delete its fill and give it a stroke outline so that it's ready to go. And you're done. If you want, you can design a way for it to hang on a tree, but there's your reindeer. If you've ever wanted to achieve those like super Instagram worthy sign things, this is definitely the technique for you. So all you have to do is go to the text tool, click, type whatever you want, and then set it to whatever font you want. I highly recommend also more cursive fonts that already connect together um, so that you don't have to do what I'm about to do. But I wanted to show you that there is a way around it if you like a font like this that the letters don't connect. So then you're just going to go to the rectangle tool and honestly you can connect them however you want. I just think the rectangle is the easiest. Take the rectangle tool, make a rectangle, and adjust it so that it overlaps enough that nothing is too brittle or will break. Um, then I click on the text area, uh, right click rather, and click create outlines. And what that does is it makes your text no longer editable, but what's happening instead is that now it's a vector outline. So I'm gonna take the bottom word, slide it up so that it also intersects with that rectangle, and now I have a shape that can be cut out of one piece of wood and stay together. Using the same technique as the snowman, I'm just gonna add some quick little hanger hole things. And to top it all off, Pathfinder Unite! <laughs> all right, that one's done. All right, so I'm not gonna talk about this one a ton because it's sort of contingent on you having an iPad, but I wanna show you because it's really cool and using the apps, either Adobe Draw or Adobe Fresco, you can draw vectors and really easily port them into Adobe Illustrator. And honestly, it is so much easier than actually drawing curves in Illustrator using the pen tool, which I didn't even cover in this video that um, this is pretty much how I do all of my curve vector drawings. So I'm just using one of the, the brushes swirling some stuff around and then I'm just going to port this into Illustrator and it's going to be ready to laser cut. Admittedly towards the end of this video I started feeling a little fancy so I mixed up a little bit of Total Boat Epoxy, pigmented it, and poured it into both the ornament and the Christmas tree which was secretly my intention the entire time. And I think it came out really cool but again absolutely not, not necessary and that does make this an overnight project and not just a one afternoon project. and you've made your very own Christmas ornaments to decorate your tree or your window or your dorm room or whatever it is this holiday season, please let us know what you thought down in the description below or if there's anything that I missed. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button, click the like button, click the bell, click all of the things that I need you to click to help me pay my bills because adulting is hard. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I should go back to adulting now. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>